The Jamun Tree There is a small village near Pancharat Forest. In that village lived two children, Murli and Chitra. On hot summer days, they would rest under a big jamun tree in the forest. This jamun tree had a thick trunk and lots of branches and leaves. Murli and Chitra would rest under its shade. Sometimes they would play hide and seek around it. They would climb and sit amongst its leaves. Murli would say, Look at those squirrels. They like to run after each other. The tree was the home to many birds. Murali and Chitra liked watching the birds bringing twigs to build their nest. Once a year, the tree would be laden with purple jamuns. Murali and Chitra would collect the jamuns for themselves and their families. The tree became a part of their life. One morning, Murli and Chitra saw three men at Somu Chacha's tea stall. The men were carrying axes and they were rough. Can you tell us the way to the forest? One of the men asked Somu Chacha. After the men had left for the forest, Murli said, What will these men do with the axes? We must find out. Let's go to the forest, said Chitra. On reaching the forest, they heard a noise. Tuck, 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 tuck. And they found the strangers cutting down some trees. Stop that! Murli and Chitra shouted loudly. Why are you cutting down these trees? Go away, children! Don't disturb us! shouted one of the men angrily. The two children did not like trees being cut down. These men would soon cut down the jamun tree also. Let's go and ask our teacher for help, said Murli. They ran all the way to their teacher's house. On hearing their story, the teacher started ringing the school bell. The villagers asked each other, Why is the school bell ringing on a holiday? Let's go and see. They hurried to the school. The teacher told them what the three men were doing. The villagers were angry. How cruel, they said. They followed Murli and Chitra into the forest. By that time, the men were about to cut down the Jammu tree. Stop! Don't touch the tree, the villagers shouted. The men got scared on seeing so many people. They threw away their axes and tried to escape, but the villagers caught them and handed them over to police. Murli and Chitra were very happy. The villagers appreciated the children for saving trees.